So I did this spray foam test about a year ago. It is now June of 2020, and I believe I did this in March of 2019. And uh, this was great stuff foam with acoustical sealant. And I can feel a slight divot where the uh, the caulking touches in some places, like there's a little trench. And I don't think though that that has anything to do with the caulking eating away at the foam, because it's just it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's deteriorating. I don't think there's any adverse uh, chemical reactions happening here. I think that was simply that the foam was literally forming around the caulking when it was down. And so it just kind of prevented it. Oh, actually, that does kind of look like. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if this was from foaming around it. But it did, it did end up, uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think if it were adversely reacted that this stuff, if I scraped at it, would crumble away underneath it. And in some places it's deeper than others, or maybe some places the caulking has filled it in better. But, uh, da -da -da. it seems to me like this is a viable thing to do. Like, if you want to make sure that your air barrier is going to be consistent that if you um, are, are uh, trying to get foam to seal to something like plastic that putting acoustical seal uh, acoustical acoustical caulking synthetic rubber caulking onto the plastic first or whatever material that you want the foam to seal to that uh, that having that additional layer of, of the rubber the synthetic rubber uh, between the two is going to be better than just doing foam to plastic because as soon as the plastic is uh, loosened a little bit, it comes right off of there. Uh, it comes right off of the foam, but it doesn't just come right off of the caulking. The caulking does a decent job, especially if it's then also um, mechanically held in place as well uh, a little bit, like with um, uh, with this guy here, like if it's smushed between in the, the, like if this was say in a tight space and I, I foamed it uh, in between uh, something firm and uh, and the, another space that was uh, another surface that was on this side here that I think that would do a good job of sealing uh, sealing into place because the the expansion would then put pressure against the other thing like um, I'm a bum, 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 bum. let me try to illustrate this better uh, let's say if this was <laughs> if uh, okay 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 I'm gonna make this video just a little longer in order to. Uh, illustrate this um, let's say that our um, plastic is here and we've got a bit of space between it and this object here that if we go and caulk it first and then foam in between the two the plastic here caulking on it first then foam in between the two and that fills up that space and this is going to stay permanent here this is going to stay permanently here and that foam fills in that space and permanent like and, and then that that friction then holds the caulking in place i would trust that a lot more with the caulking than without the caulking if that makes any sense let's hope it does